This old machine right here is actually uh, kind of a custom build. It says AMD Vision, but I actually put something else inside the case. Unfortunately, the heat sink that I put in had this on top, and it spun fairly slowly, and the grill probably didn't help. There was a fan in the back. I added a fan here because, well, it needed it. But here's the thing. If we go in here, and I stop scratching that fan, you see this fan? It's way bigger than that heat sink. First of all, the lobes on the heat sink are too big. There's not enough of them, so it doesn't drain the heat quite as efficiently. This fan was pushing out, but I really needed to pull cold air in. This fan is huge, right? Compared to this one, the fan's pretty big. So I put in a fan that pushes a lot more air and spins a little faster. It's oversized, but, and I don't know if I can even show it to you, but over here, almost impossible to see. Well, yeah, it is impossible to see, but you see that wire there? There's a wire there, and if you look down there, you can see that there's a screw down there, and the wire's wrapped around. It's a paper clip. I wrapped it around that screw that's just screwed straight in and wired it around here, so this thing, one screw is tight here, and the other, I mean, it holds together. It's not going anywhere, but now I have a much bigger fan, and bonus, it also cools these capacitors and voltage regulators a bit in a way that they weren't before. So there's extra cooling on some of the circuits. So uh, this fan, I moved it so it pulled in, put a much bigger heatsink fan on, new thermal paste, and then we've also got this thing that I tacked on very poorly. Nice big fan to further pull some air through. And now, instead of it overheating, getting up to 80-something degrees relatively quickly and idling at 60-something, I've got this thing running handbrake, compressing a DVD, and look at that core temperature right there. You better focus, boy. Look at that core temperature. 52.3 Celsius. Running at full blast, 52.3 Celsius. Now that's what I'm talking about. Yep, a little bit of ingenuity, you can get these old machines to work pretty nicely.